If you stare at a screen all day, you're eventually gonna go crazy. In this video, I wanna talk about why work-life balance is critical to maintaining your mental health and preventing you from burning out. So I think it's really important that programmers, developers, software engineers, you know, anyone that's doing a lot of mentally strenuous work every day, maintain healthy work-life balance to prevent burning out. Often in startup culture, you, you see that, you know, they usually have a lot of younger employees who don't have families or have more time that they can dedicate to working and being at the office. And while that's fine when you're young and you, you have that kind of schedule and that availability, if you wanna you know, further your career and get ahead and maybe really rack up that experience early on and you wanna spend 12 hours at the office a day, that's fine. But when you're older and you have a family, it's not realistic to maintain that. And if you try to do that, you'll, you'll eventually burn out. It'll happen. If you, if you work too much, you'll burn out. And if right now you're a self-taught programmer and you're, you're studying every day and you're, you're spending hours upon hours upon hours on your laptop doing tutorials and building projects and working on your resume and working on your portfolio and just doing everything that you gotta do to try to get that first job, it can be really difficult and it can be really hard to maintain that. So it's okay to take a break. Although you wanna code all the time and you wanna, and you wanna try to code as much as you can until you get that first job, you can't, and realistically, you'll, you, it's not good for you to try to do that all day, every single day. So you wanna take those breaks when you have time to take breaks and get away from the computer, get out, get some fresh air, go do something that you enjoy doing that is not code related. Your, all your side projects don't have to be based around code. I know that in your software development career early on, you feel that a lot of your extracurricular work needs to be code related, and that's simply not true. You might feel that you need to stay cutting edge and work with the latest tech if you're not working with the latest tech in your current role. And while that's fine, don't focus on that stuff too much and maybe focus on it a little bit more when you're trying to look for a new job. It doesn't have to be about code all the time. And it's okay to take breaks. Washington beaches are not nearly as warm as California or Florida, but it's still nice to get out. Can't believe it's June right now, and it's like 50 something degrees out here. You know, work-life balance may not mean much to you, but it's definitely something you should think about and really think about it when you're looking for a job and applying for jobs and really look into what kind of work-life benefits do they offer and consider that because you're gonna be there for a few years and you're gonna dedicate a bunch of time there. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna end up being somewhere that you're not gonna enjoy working and that doesn't offer you the, the kind of work-life balance that you're looking for. You know, if those things are important to you, if having holidays off is important, if having flexible schedules and flexible days, if just being able to call in sick and not have to worry about it, important to you, make sure that you look for that. Make sure that you're, you're checking all the places where you can get this information. And I mean, don't be scared to ask around online either. Post stuff on Reddit, post questions wherever you need to to find out about a company that you may be applying for. And if work-life balance is really important to you, and it should be, uh, work-life balance should be important to everyone. You should make sure that that's, that company that you're applying for offers those things. Or if you're applying right now and you don't have a job, or if you do have a job and, you don't, and you're not happy with the way that your work-life balance is at that job, Make sure to think about this the next the next job you look for. You know, my, my first job, the work-life balance wasn't terrible, but it, it wasn't all that great. I did take some work home with me more than I'd want to. You really never want to take any work home with you. Um, that just develops bad habits to have you end up burning out and working way more than you should. Just kind of think about like, what, what do you make an hour? At, a, at what point is your hourly wage worth it? If you're making 50 bucks an hour because you're making 100 grand a year, that's cool and all, but if you're working 14, 16 hour days because you have that kind of company culture that expects you to work that much, that's just a recipe for burnout. And really at the end of the day, how much money are you really making an hour 
if you're working double the time that you should be. And this also relates to if you're trying to learn how to code too. Remember, you know, many people's circumstances are different. When I was learning how to code, my family was just getting started and I had that extra time and my schedule at work allowed me to work and study at the same time and I had enough time off and availability during my days off to be able to study and dedicate that much time. But some people only have a few hours a, a day and, and honestly, just try to be as consistent as you can. And if you start feeling like you're burning out, think about if you're just spending too much time working. If you're learning how to code and you have a day job and you have a family, and you know you you have to you have to learn how to code and you feel like it's just something that you have to do and you realize that you've been doing it for a couple months and you're no no longer having any fun and doing anything that brings you any joy you're just working and tending the things around the house and learning how to code and you've given up all your extracurricular activities and you've given up all your hobbies because you're determined to learn how to code i kind of did that myself and it's not healthy it wasn't healthy for me and i got lucky that i didn't burn out but you know everyone's different just make sure that you listen to to how you're feeling and play it by ear and remember that this is a marathon not a sprint you know, you're gonna be learning for a while and it's gonna take you a while to get a job. Some people do get a job soon and quickly, but a lot of people, it takes them a little longer. So don't rush to get to the finish line because the thing is, once you get there, you're gonna realize that your journey has just started and you're gonna be learning all the time, every day, and it's never gonna end, which is, it's a good thing and I enjoy it. And if you're learning how to code and you've already been doing it for a while, you've probably already got that personality that enjoys trying to figure out the problems and trying to work on stuff and trying to solve problems. And, and that's good and use that to keep you going, but realize when you're not having fun and you need a break because that's important too. With all that said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. You know, um, I appreciate everyone who's been watching my videos. I appreciate all the viewers. I'm trying to find different styles of doing videos. This is, uh, this is all new to me. I don't have a background in photography or cinematography, but I wanna make this channel as, as good as I can for people who are learning how to code. And if you have any suggestions on how I can make the channel better, and if there's topics that you all want to see me cover, please let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd, love, to, I'd love to have more, more stuff to cover. I'm kind of just shooting from the hip when I come up with things to talk about. I'm really just trying to remember things when I was learning how to code that I needed help with, and that's what I'm trying to make videos on. But I, I, you know, I can always use more material, and if there's things that you really wanna hear me talk about, please let me know in the comments below. And again, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer.